Hi everyone, this is Darpan Sahu with me from Batch 2224. So Darpan, could you tell me about yourself, like where you were, where are you from, then where did you do your graduation, and then how did you like, why did you choose PGDM, and then Jaipur Institute of Management? So first of all, I am currently from Shadol, and I've done my graduation from Indore itself, from DAVV University in BCom Finance. Uh, then I chose PGDM as my program because I didn't want to go much further deeper in accounts. I wanted to pursue some management course ahead. And after that, uh, uh, during my PGDM course in Jaipur, yeah. So I've uh, I've had chances to uh, appear for interviews in multiple. Uh, Institutions, but uh, as we know that our batch was right after Corona lockdown was lifted, so a lot of colleges were still offering uh, online programs. Correct. And I didn't think that I am much of an online program kid. So for that, Jaipuria was actually offering uh, offline program. Plus, Jaipuria had this on-campus placement feature, which was actually interesting for me because, apart, uh, besides having four campus all around India, it's uh, cam placements are still available for each and every campus students equally. So I liked that opportunity. That was my main reason for choosing Jaipuria. Uh, that is actually quite impressive like the on-campus policy what we have like wherever the companies are landing for example Noida, Jaipur, Lucknow or Indore every student of all the uh, campuses can participate in that. Yes. So actually uh, could you also tell me like uh, what is your point of view of the pedagogy that we follow? Like how do you like it or how unique is it from other campuses or other colleges in fact? Okay so as much as I know about the other MBA programs that are, that are going on in Indore right now, I think that Jaipur is offering more experiential based learning because we have this uh, going on presentations uh, and we have uh, a lot of group assignments. We had to go for a lot of field visits for different programs, different courses and we had a and uh, being a BA student, I had this opportunity of learning various tools, which is not available in every institution, I think. Okay. So that thing was actually a boom for uh, uh, improving my uh, confidence. Plus my communication skills were actually, I would say that improved a lot better because I had to, uh, I had the stage fear. Uh, fright in the initial stage but right now I can say that I have improved much better because this con continuous flow of giving presentation in front of whole class or in front of whole audi uh, where everyone is invited and you are being judged and seen continuously that gives you a lot of exposure I think so I think that it improves not only your domain knowledge but also your personality, also your other skills which is very important when it comes to placement and interviews. Like there are a lot of opportunities that help us break the ice and then yes. uh, we can explore ourselves, our own personality and then develop accordingly. Mm -hmm. So uh, whatever we've learned in the classroom, it is all according to the rules and regulation or the curriculum that we follow. But apart from that, uh, like we all know that there are co-curricular activities also in our campuses. So uh, how does that actually help you groom yourself or develop yourself, like whatever committee you are in, how did that committee help you tame yourself? So I am in Student Welfare and Discipline Committee, plus I am also part of Operations Club. So during this first year during that period only i was more actively yes. participating in everything so uh, i think interacting with every student and considering everyone when you are uh, actually arranging anything like uh, for operations club uh, uh, operations club we arranged a conclave mm -hmm. so we invited uh, another institution from Bhilai okay. and uh, four members four guest members were in uh, uh, invited from all over India mm -hmm. which gave us the overview about operations how operations is currently booming in India and how much uh, opportunities that actually are in operations but we don't know much about it so that gave me a uh, exposure because when you are actually uh, only constructing yourself in the institution mm -hmm. you think that your confidence level is somehow lower but when you are actually interacting with other another institutions you think and you actually realize that how much you have gained 
विच वी डोंट रियलाइज टिल वेरी लेट एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट बींग अ पार्ट ऑफ स्टूडेंट वेलफेयर एंड डिसिप्लिन कमेटी बींग अ पार्ट ऑफ अ कोर कमेटी ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशन सो इट एक्चुअली हेल्प मी अलॉट इन बींग अवेयर नॉट ओनली अबाउट माई सराउंडिंग्स बट ऑल्सो अवेयर अबाउट माई सेल्फ बिकॉज यू हैव टू बी वन इन डिसिप्लिन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इम्प्लीमेंट दैट ऑन इन द इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड योर पीयर्स बिकॉज एज वी नो दैट पीयर्स आर लाइक दे आर ऑलवेज गेटिंग इन्फ्लुएंस बायर्स सो इट हेल्प मी अलॉट बिकॉज देर आर मल्टीपल एक्टिविटीज एंड Uh, events like going on in our institution continuously like master chefs of jaipuria jaipur jaipur sab which is coming very yes. near <laughs> so that and during that matlab uh, it is the biggest event of our institution Absolutely. so going on in the field and inviting guests inviting participants and then when they are actually here in the campus and maintaining a crowd of around Twelve hundred to five fifteen hundred. That's a huge amount. Yes. Our external members. We are yes. not even counting internal members. Absolutely. So that is very much of a big responsibility. So it gave me a big exposure in handling with people and how I can improve my interpersonal skills. Well, Darpan, uh, that's quite of an impressive journey that Jaipuria has given you. But uh, how can we forget that uh, Darpan has been placed with Reliance General Insurance? So, congratulations, Darpan. Thank you so, so uh, Darpan, how did Jaipuria also help you in with various activities, whatever we have conducted so so far? How did that help uh, help you finally crack the interviews and all the processes that was involved in this? So, uh, I would say that. since i have joined jaipuria we have undergone a lot of training sessions because not uh, we know as we know that nowadays companies are very picky Absolutely. they can't just accept anyone who is lacking in any of the areas so they want an all rounder so uh, darpan since you are far away from home and then you can consider jaipur institute of management indore as your second home so can you say any one point where you like the most and you like where you can literally reveal yourself like any one place in this campus okay so being a hostler i have access to a lot of places Absolutely. in jaipur <laughs> so Apart from academics, I would say the mini basketball ground would be my place because Indeed. that's where we all gather after our dinner and we have this group and we go. I mean, we walk around, we do a lot of fun things. And although it's very near, like it's beside the faculty block, but no one has ever stopped us from doing yes. anything. Like we are always shouting and cheering or doing anything that makes us. Go and the most important is sunset. Yeah, obviously, <laughs> I have clicked a lot of pics. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. So that's great. Uh, so this one last thing is, uh, as we know that our juniors are now prepping up for their summer internship programs. So what is that piece of advice that you would like to give them? Uh, from my summer internship, I would say. I would I was placed with a a minimum like I would say it wasn't a very prestigious organization. but i would say it's what we can do there instead of what kind of organization is that because uh, a lot of times we are placed with a, a highly prestigious organization but we aren't internally satisfied with the work we are doing but in my organization i was given the opportunity and actually the responsibility to handle a, a lot of areas like i was assigned with handling around 100 interns uh, which were placed across four uh, states so which is already a bigger responsibility and i was placed at hq okay. so it was like i would say it's how you can gain opportunity how you can get the work done and how you can actually get the opportunities even if they are not willing to do it okay. you have to take that initiative you have to give yourself the appreciation and you have to take that level of confidence there and show them that that you can do it like if you even if you don't have confidence in yourself yes. just give yourself a chance yes and whatever you who never know that you might have that yeah unless caliber. you try you won't know absolutely so thank you darpan